Now, former President Jacob Zuma's bid to privately prosecute journalist Karen Morn and prosecutor Billy Downer has been rejected. The High Court in Peter Maritzburg handed down the judgment this morning. The Helen Sussman Foundation was involved in the matter as a friend of the court and says processes were uh, abused throughout this whole case. The foundation has welcomed today's judgment and Director Nicole Fritz joins us tonight. Thank you so much for your time, Nicole. We do appreciate it. Uh, maybe just your overall response, given the fact that you were a friend of the court and I think there was much support, especially behind uh, journalist Karen Morn, given given um, that she made it very clear, even in her uh, response to the court, that she followed proper processes and this was nothing but an attack on her. What is your response to today's judgment? Well, we, we welcome the judgment. Um, it is very clear that uh, private prosecutions of the type attempted by former President Jacob Zuma here in, in these cases constitute an abuse of court process, um, that they were brought for ulterior purpose. Um, in, the case, uh, in, in the case against um, Prosecutor Billy Dana, in order to prevent him from undertaking his duties as a prosecutor fearlessly and, and independently, in, in order to secure delay of the criminal charges um, and criminal prosecution uh, that has been brought by the National Prosecuting Authority that uh, Mr. Zuma faces, and in Ms. Morn's case, uh, brought for the ulterior purpose of, of seeking to intimidate and harass her uh, in, in doing her job, which is reporting fearlessly on, on um, the, the charges and the prosecutions against former President Zuma. Um, and we think that it is an important precedent, a uh, clear recognition that private prosecutions of, of this type constitute an abusive process. Uh, I think it's important to underline um, that our interest in this case was not only in respect of the particular parties, but, but concern for private prosecutions uh, being brought against you know, different actors that are absolutely essential to upholding our democracy, whether they be independent uh, journalists, but whether they be members of civil society, whether they be members of the political opposition. If you have private prosecutions of this type, they have a chilling and compromising effect on our democracy. Certainly. I want us to touch on something that you've mentioned about uh, delaying tactics. And we have uh, heard that there's a possibility that the former president will be appealing this decision. Um, and many would argue and say, well, this is just once again another delaying tactic by the former president. Yes. I mean, so it doesn't come as any surprise that uh, on immediately upon receipt of the judgment, there is an announcement um, that uh, there would be an appeal um, without necessarily uh, having sort of studied the judgment um, and the merits thereof. Um, so uh, th there will be an appeal. Um, the question then is, will the lodging of that appeal um, yet further delay the um, the charges and the private prosecution that um, Mr. Zuma is facing in relation to the arms trial? And that is a question that... Uh, I can't give you any answers to at, at this point. Um, we'll have to see whether that, that appeal, uh, the lodging of the appeal occasions yet further delay. Certainly, but I just want to ask you, Nicole, and I'm wondering if you could answer this just in terms of what exactly would he be appealing, though? Because uh, if, if there's a judgment that says, in actual fact, uh, we disregard this application about having any sort of action taken against journalist Karen Morn and uh, prosecutor Billy Downer, what, what exactly is he going to be presenting to the court um, to, you know, to appeal this decision? Well, he, I mean, I imagine that, that the argument would go that that the, the court, uh, the KwaZulu-Natal High Court, erred in making this determination that the private prosecution should be stayed, which is effectively stopped. And, you know, that uh, that if successful in his, his appeal, he should be uh, allowed to continue in um, prosecuting these two individuals. Mm. I wanted to just conclude, um, Nicole, with what happens now, because, you know, anybody watching this is thinking, 
But how much longer is this going to drag out for? I mean, this arms deal dates back to I don't know how many years. Um, the former president has had a number of applications, application after apl application. This was the recent one. Um, and everybody's wondering if this is ever going to officially go on trial and actually commence and actually hear the version of the president and everybody else accused in, in this matter. Yes, and unfortunately, today's proceedings are not going to give us a sort of obvious answer as to as to when um, that will that will in fact occur um, and transpire. But I, you know, I do think that you know one shouldn't take away from the magnitude and the importance of today's judgment, which is the court um, very sternly um, coming down and, and using its powers to stop what they have determined to be an abuse of their court processes. And as I say, that is really important in providing protection to a large number of actors, whether they be journalists, whether they be civil society, whether they be you know, opposition figures who might um, face this type of fraudulent uh, prosecution um, and have to spend many years in court uh, fighting it off, even if there is no re uh, reasonable prospect of, of conviction. So I think that that is a really um, important outcome of, of today's proceedings and, and we shouldn't sort of take away from, from the magnitude, magnitude of that. Certainly a very important uh, judgment that came out today and uh, I actually did message um, Karen Morn and just wishing her all the best because she's obviously uh, had it really hard in the last couple of months. But thank you so much for your insights this evening. Uh, we do appreciate it. That was uh, Nicole Fritz from the Helen Sussman Foundation.